I had a question from the other a guy the other day, and he did inventory every day, and he wanted an Excel sheet to have every day of the month, both on the in the A1 value and as a sheet name. So I wrote a little code and came up with this. Um, his actual sheet had 31 days being added. For demonstration purposes, I'm just adding five here. So let's click on our button, add dates. And so there you go. It starts with September 30th, October 1st, October 2nd, October 3rd, and October 4th. So let me show you the code and what I've done. I'm sub add new sheet and uh, worksheet. Next date is a date and new date is a date and X is an integer and start date as a date. And X equals one. And so worksheet range A1 select. Um, I'm setting the number format format to be day, month, year. Worksheet range uh, value equals date, which is basically the same as going today, bracket, bracket on a, an Excel sheet. And you go cells, entire column, all of it, because the date is too big to be displayed. So start date, worksheet, uh, sheet one, range A1 dot value. Okay, that's the start date. Now, for X1 to X5, and so like I was saying, if you had 31 days, you would put 31 days instead of five here. Next date equals start date plus X. And so our first start date is going to be um, going to be one, right? Sheets add after sheets count. So the next sheet you're going to add active sheet range A1 number format equals. I'm making sure that the date is in the, the same format. Active sheet range value equals next date. Entire, sit, entire column auto fit just so that the date fits in there for sure. Active sheet name format next date day month year and why I'm specifying that is in the name of a worksheet you can't have um, a forward slash but you can't have a dash here for the date and so that's how it works um, I will include this code in my description of my video.